to get us with a university. And there has been this talk of power, power to the people. You cannot actually give power to the people without giving them education. Mm -hmm. You give power to the people, you give power to the people by educating the masses. For so many years, the Gambia has been relying on the benevolence of our big brother, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and some other Commonwealth jurisdictions to bail us with this issue of um, getting us um, legal experts to come and actually serve in our jurisdiction. Now, this, is, this cannot be sustainable. And we, the youngsters of today's generation, are saying no to it. We have to take the bull by the horn to take advantage of the opportunities that are created and make sure that we capitalize on them. In just, if you go to our courts today, you see a lot of Gambian magistrates that have graduated from the University of the Gambia. This is a plus to us. And it, every semester students are graduating from the law faculty. So there is no way you can talk about the history of the University of the Gambia without talking about the special um, uh, the, 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 magnanimity, the magnanimity of His Excellency the President. So we have a duty as students. We have to make sure that we go to the University of the Gambia and perform. We just don't have to go to the university and allow the university to exercise on us. We have to exercise inside the university and make sure that we excel academically. You cannot even differentiate today. If you go to our courts, a student, a, law, a lawyer that graduates from the law faculty and a lawyer that graduates from a luxurious university in, in the United Kingdom or in some of these well-established countries that had had universities for a long, long period of time. Mm. It's the principle, the same principle. If you bring people outside from a different country, you expect them to adapt to the cultures and norms of the country. But if you read law in your own country, <laughs> all you need is to get inside the culture and perform. And we all know the importance of law. No country can move without law. We all need the legal experts because the, um, it's the last hope of, uh, of all citizens. Every citizen who feels that he has, who is aggrieved, the next place he runs to is the court. So we need to get people that are actually upright, people that actually understand the cultural settings, the norms and values of this country, so that they will be able to adjudicate fairly and putting the principles of equity into play. So in essence, I wouldn't um, boy with a long speech. They have said a lot of things about the low day. They've also talked about the generosity by some of the people that have decided to patronize us, like the Inspector General of Police. I wouldn't be believe on that. But I just want Gambians to understand that His Excellency has provided the conducive en environment. So it is now our responsibility. We cannot afford to fail this country by not capitalizing on the opportunities that have been created for us. So I'll urge all young Gambians, and non-Gambians alike, because if you look at the University of the Gambia, you get a lot of, a lot of um, um, students from various countries. That shows the quality of the, the, um, the education that is being offered at the University of the Gambia. So I'll urge all youngsters to make here while the sun shine. You never know what is going to happen. You get this opportunity today. Tomorrow you are not going to get the opportunity, and you'll be clapping, and there'll be nobody to dance for you. Thank you very much. Brilliant. <coughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for this opportunity. I start by saying knowledge is power in acknowledgement of what he said. So the education given to us by the university, especially the Faculty of Law, would not or has not only benefited us, but also our families, our friends, and the world at large. Because we do not just learn these things to keep it with, uh, with ourselves, but we go home and tell people around, this is what I've learned in criminal law, this is what I've learned in torts, this is what I've learned in human rights, it's all, in different areas of law. And that's why we have an establishment, an organization in the university called the Law Clinic. This is where we give legal advice. We don't do it on our own because we're not yet lawyers per se, but we have lawyers that supervise us and we have lecturers. So if where people have problems and they cannot afford legal services, they come to the law clinic and we see um we listen to them and see what issues are involved, take them to the lawyers that will do pro bono work. So at the long run, you can see that the University of the Gambia, especially the Faculty of Law, is actually giving a lot back to the society. And also this education has not only benefited us just by uh, empowering like giving us more knowledge, it's also giving us a sense of establishment and placement. We can stand out there no matter where against whichever university 
against whichever country and prove that this university is the best there is in Africa. Mm -hmm. And also, my colleague and I just returned from South Africa, where 54 universities in Africa participated at the All African Moot Competition, and we emerged third. Oh. Congratulations. Mm, yeah. So, you see, there were universities like University of Lagos, Nigeria, Kwame Nkrumah University from Ghana, University of South Africa, Cape Town. There were so many of these renowned universities, but University of the Gambia came third. This is to show that the knowledge we gain here, the resources we have, the what we're getting from the Gambia, what we're getting from the Faculty of Law, what we're getting from His Excellency, is not something that we can hide. We just have to express this broad smile and keep saying thank you. And so the establishment of the law faculty is very beneficial to society. And um, also, with associations which my co-counsels have mentioned, the Mutin, the um, debate club, the committees we have in the school, this gives students um, measures or means to become active in one area or other in the university. And so I'm also urging Gambians out there, non-Gambians, and people out there who haven't yet gone to school, come to the law faculty, because you have a lot to gain, and you also have a lot to return to, to the society, and as a whole, the society will get more developed. Thank you. Good day. I'm Louise Antaji, um, Assistant Information and Public Relations Officer. My colleagues have said it all. I basically have <laughs> nothing more to say, but on the importance of um, the faculty of law in the society, in the Gambian society, I'll basically say that the faculty of law is the future reflection of the judiciary because um, we have a judicial system and the faculty of law is training future lawyers to take positions in that judicial system. Now, Right now, we really have um, a lot of renowned judges and lawyers in the judicial system. However, those people will not be in that place forever. When, the, when this, their generation passes on, we are the future generations who will take that stand. And the Faculty of Law has, we, has really impacted a lot on this generation to ensure that we, when we get to that point in time, we are equipped with whatever we need to take over. Basically, I thank the, the president for establishing this university, um, else I wouldn't be sitting down here today. Um, I wouldn't be able to have the opportunities I have today or be able to represent the school in international competitions. So the Faculty of Law basically has, it's grooming the future leaders and um, it's, should I say, um, raising its own academics. Because in the future, when um, we'll be able to like stand on our own and train our own children, and before you know it, we have our own inbuilt um, judiciary with our own people. So um, basically, the Faculty of Law gives back to the community as much as the community has given back to us. But resting on the legal aid available at the um, Faculty of Law, legal aid is provided for members of the society, and this is provided for free. Basically, you come to the faculty and um, we have uh, legal aid officers who listen to you and give you advice. Now, this is possible because the government has, taken, has ensured that a law faculty is established in the country in order to train youngsters to, be, to have that knowledge to impact on others. So the faculty of law has really, really impacted on society as much as society has given back to it. Thank you. I quite agree with you and um, beautiful viewers, we still remind you that um, you watching a National Banter Bar Forum. And now let's come to the D-Day, that's the, uh, the law day. When and where? We'll be held on the 5th of October okay. 2013 and it's going to commence at 9 a.m. Yeah. Venue? venue at the faculty of law. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes, because he, um, Mr. Minter mentioned that laws have to reflect um, the culture of the people, and that's why this year's theme um, is law and society. And uh, we are suggesting, it's not yet confirmed, but we are suggesting that one of the, one of the topics for discussion would be um, legal ethics and African traditional um, 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 values. So you can see, we, we are already trying to inspire um, a rethinking of culture, both in terms of how